We are rolling. I can't. I don't have my glasses. One more, what? Turn us the house to watch. <laughs> so you can't see? So yeah, I can't tell if it's still oh, recording. Oh, did you or not. do it on your phone? Oh, I can do it from my phone. I need to fix the settings. By the way, it was George's idea to just leave the clothes everywhere. That was more fun. You get the satisfaction of seeing everything slowly go away. Go on, what? Turn the house on. Okay, go. Start. This is our haul from our Japan trip. Why? Hey, I, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I've never in front of the camera. From our, our, our Tokyo trip mm. in 2023. I guess we should start with, I guess we'll start with the boring stuff first, like the Uniqlo stuff. Clothes. Yeah. Clothes first, and then stationery, and then Johnny's, and then gifts. Clothes, station, okay. So let's start with, here, let's start at the top of the pile. I got these shorts from Uniqlo. And they're long. Ass won't be hanging out. I can put it on the ground? Yes, yeah, throw it on the ground. Oh, See, throw it down there. Down where? Just underneath the thermostat. Oh, <laughs> I was gonna <laughs> go at the stairs. No! <laughs> and then I also bought a little Uniqlo overshirt in large. Everything at Uniqlo I fit into is large or extra large. Oh, my person keeps insisting that I fit into a medium. Ta da! The fabric I liked and then I didn't like. It's linen. Kind of hurts. It's linen blend. Linen it's blend. It's like 40% linen and the rest of it's like rayon or rayon or whatever it is. The same shirt, but heck, women's extra large. I'm cross dressing. Same thing, but in black. I don't know, does it show up well? Yeah, it does. Yeah. The last Uniqlo item. It's kind of dirty because of our hike. You have probably seen the vlog by now, if you're watching this. So these are like... The cargos. Car yeah, these are just all the cargos from Uniqlo. Without a jog, without like a jogger bottom. So it's kind of straight. I'm sure everyone who's in knows anything remotely about Uniqlo knows these pants. Yeah, I, Tiff ha I think Tiff has these pants. I think Tiff has the other ones. Oh, she has the jogger. Careful with the light. I was, we'll rewatch the video. I don't think I was that close. Mm -hmm. This is, this one's sick. Oh, so the tag. Is No, it's from, I don't know the brand. There's just an R, I tried to Google image search it. Is it a lemon? Couldn't yeah. find it. I don't know, I don't think so. But it's a, uh, basically a thick bomber. And it's a reversible orange. Nice. On your all black outfit, I can Yeah, I know, it's hard to tell. I don't know when I would use the orange, but it's nice to know it's an option. It's so vintage. It's so vintage. I swear. You get a My model? dad should model. No, thank you. My dad had the exact same jacket. It's a Puma. Like a vintage Puma jacket. The, the hood could be tucked in to the jacket itself. A men's jacket. Yeah, it's also a men's jacket. I, I should ask my dad if he has like, had that no, classic jacket. It's kind of a similar vibe to Joyce's coat. It's a Nike, good vintage Nike pullover. Purple and, purple, right? Mm. Purple and green? Mm. Like Barney. Like Barney. Careful, please. Whoosh! Right? Please. Oh, yeah, and then I got a hat. Joyce got a corduroy hat. Should I wash it? What if there's like lice in here? Uh, How do you know if it has lice? Well, you tried it on in the store already, so you, you didn't sure, have any lice my... yet. I got this at Trayfac. It's another thrift store. And it is uh, Beauty and Youth by United Arrows, another Japanese streetwear brand. I'm that, I'm that, that meme that you showed me. And it fits true to size. Oh my, the hair, my god, I look so... 
We've been on a flight for 24 hours <laughs> and between airports. So please forgive our. Our. Our appearance. <laughs> yeah. It fits. It fits so well on you. Really well, yeah. yeah. This and another thing we bought for someone else was $50 in total. Wild. Why would you say the price? <laughs> it was cheap as that. It was cheap. Yeah, altogether <laughs> it was pretty cheap. <laughs> so, yeah. so whoever gets that present, which you don't know of, but it'll be pretty obvious, <laughs> it was cheap. I got a black vest. I don't remember the store. Halham? I don't know. I don't know. It was just cool. It was like 40 bucks. Brand new. It's quite nice. Easy to layer. Go be washed. Now the Hall of Halls. Rage Blue. We ended up going to the store by accident looking for a different store. But it's, you may think, it is an oversized it's just a glorified, oversized Uniqlo Airism. No, it is not. It's thicker, softer, and it's got the famous side zippers. Yeah. Wow. Your leg, leg slits. Leg so slits? Show off your thighs. Show off my waist. Mm -hmm. Give a little peek. And then I got the same thing in tan. tan. I got a matching set of cargo shorts. And then it's also a matching vest. Because you gotta get them vests. Many pockets and straps for stuff. Oh, in black as well. <laughs> oh, and the creme de la creme that Joyce will wear more than I do. 100%. Because she looks cooler. At I'll show this one and then just, it shows, it'll show up better on camera. Cargo pants. But wait, folks, not just any cargo pants. Oh, Jesus, this is like, what happened? It's super crinkled, but they are cargo pants. But they have this like suspenders. removable suspenders. But they like they're so seamless. They're not designed to be worn. They're just supposed to be there. So yeah. Cool. Yeah, exactly. And all black. Well, it's the same thing. More of a badass street tech wear sort of thing. The other was more hiker vibe. Now on to. Oh, I just realized how crooked the frame is without the clothes. We'll leave it. Is it crooked? I don't know. The table looks crooked. It's because our table is rounded. Oh. We'll see how it looks. Stationary and miscellaneous. We'll do stationary and miscellaneous. Because we have a couple of miscellaneous items here. We spent so much at Uniqlo. They had, uh, we spent during Golden Week, and I guess during Golden Week they had a promo. We got a little baggie. Oh, yeah. That should be part of the clothes. Yeah, so I'm doing it now. Oh, smart. And then we also got another tote bag from Yokohama. Ta -da! What's it? Oh, it's quite big. And it's cute. It's like not really a tote. It's like plastic bag kind of hmm. way. But it'll be cute. It's like just small enough. And then we also went and got one of these. Really what we're just using this for is to fan our fires when we go camping. Mm -hmm. It's nice, it's plastic, so then that way it won't catch fire. Because all the ones we've seen online are like paper or wood, which would just catch fire. I also got two board games. This one, which is called Monja... No, called Monja Manja. And Ito. And I already know how to play the game because Casey John played it. I also got... One of those like little cardboard craft type things. It's of a rice ball store, I think. So that'll be fun to do one day. It is this thing? It's a Mount Fuji, Mount Fuji magnet for our fridge. 
which is gonna be so cute. And those are our miscellaneous items. On to What's our- that? Oh, that's stationary too. Yeah, stationary. On to our stationary. Bobby, oh, wait, 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 I have one more miscellaneous. Okay. Alrighty. Now we're starting stationary. So we're zoomed in. So Joyce and Gabe started something awful. Awful. Honestly, I was more I was just as excited to do to get to get this stuff by the end of it as I was doing like thrifting stuff. This is the camel uh, leather. And then I got a uh, this is a blank, a blank page, another blank page, and a grid. This is the Tokyo Factory, or the Tokyo Station Special Edition, and with the pin on here. And this is my setup. Just to go over it quickly, it is the, the cloth zipper thing on the outside here. On the first page, it is grid. Second, second book, also grid. Third book is a super, yeah, like an accordion thingy. So I'm planning on putting my map in there. And then the, this one came with the, so I, I use that for like. Oh, it comes with a special one? Journal, yeah. Oh, that's cool. You can buy this separately. No, yeah, I know. And then I just keep my, you know. His, his criminal documents. My criminal, right. his choice. He looks like he's, he's trapping a crime <gasps> in a, oh, I, no, what page is this I didn't, I didn't actually take that one to oh, the thing okay. yet. So yeah, and that has a collection of all the stamps and whatnot. The Rasa Grand. That's this, gray. This is the gray one. I don't know how well that's gonna, damn it. <laughs> I got a bunch of brown refills. I got this pencil case, also brown. Eh. Thank you. Oh, smart. I don't watch much beauty YouTube channels. What is that? You're just showing it. Oh, this is, <laughs> this is ink, brown ink for my, I can't. For my stamp. And I got this old man looking washi tape. Got nice. And that is my stationary haul. That's all it? I thought we bought the same amount. No, we did not buy the same amount. Clearly we did not buy the same amount. Whoops. <laughs> I got my own two Travelers journals. My first one I got was blue because the store made it look like it was green. Um, so I'm hoping that it'll be more green than blue. It's a very similar stuff, accessories as Krish. I have the little indent or index marker thingies, the clip, and then I organized it. My first book is blank, my second book is grid, and my third is sticker. And I use it for bullet trip. And writing down our trip. And then I have this one. I really wanted to get the olive one. Right now, I'm thinking of using it for work, so I have it set up with like the weekly spread and then a grid as well. So that's the one. But depending on which one turns out to be more green, I might switch it so that this is my daily setup and the blue is for work. For refills, for refills, we got a clear one. This is one that Krish got initially, but now he doesn't want to use it. Change my mind. Classic. Um, we have the bands. I have my own set and Krish has his own set. I'm missing two because I'm using it already. Then I got the three-fold file. So I'm trying to decide if I want to put something in here later, which I'll talk about later. I figure we just buy it just in case. Two medium paper refills, the cream color. One, oh wait, 
Yeah, one regular medium paper refill, the white color, and what? Why are these two different colors? Oh, that's cool. Why are they two different colors? Did you mean to get two different colors? We should show. show oh wait, the no, 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 no. Huh? It's not. This is the other medium paper refill that came with initially the book, but I'm not using it. And then I got a second free diary one, the weekly view. Oh, so that's all my traveler's journal stuff. And then I got, I have my stamps. I have a purple, which is a really nice color. And I have a gray. We had to stop looking at the monitor. We were looking at the monitor this whole time. Because you keep looking at it. Yeah, no, I know, I'm really bad at this. I got a pur purple. And then I got a gray. And then I got a silver. And then this is my favorite one. The monitor. It's a dark brown. Which is my favorite one. I think it's a nicer brown than probably yours. Wow. Wow. No, it's not. Mm, it might be. This is like a, it's a oh, brown. that is a nice brown. Stamps itself, I have two like Japanese hiragana writing one. One that says, one that says, so nanda, and the other one that says, yabai. What does it mean? So nanda is like, oh, is that so kind of thing, or like that so it is, oh, I see. And then yabai is like, oh my God. In um. all ways possible. But one of those like, like the clear stamp, and then <coughs> the ones where you just put the stamp on the clear stamp. This is just the dates of the year in a nicer font than the one that Krish has, and then you stick it onto this. It is actually kind of annoying though to use. I will say that, but it's been useful. And then I have a five star rating type stamp. I don't know what I'm showing that side. I have a five star rating type stamp. And then a playlist type stamp. So those are my stamps. Oh, and then I have letters as well. No pens as well. To Uniball Energy or something like that. Ener or something, Energel. One in like a sky blue and one in a dark blue. I really like the dark blue color. That's always my go-to color. And then I got, I think this is pencil still. The touch, sign, touch sign pen, it says. You know, like a blue purple, which is okay. I thought it looked more purple in store. I got this nice coffee type brown, but I think I picked up one that was like being used by people because it's kind of dry. Oh no. I know. This really nice green, it's like a forest green, a nice blue, and then like a little sky blue as well. And then my bullet journal ones, or my notebook factory ones, is the Sarasa brand in brown and the one in green. And then for those pens, I also bought refills. I have one brown gray refill, two sepia black refills, two dark gray refills, one blue gray refill, and one Bordeaux purple. And then the green one came with green ink, so there's that as well. I also found this in the traveler's notebook. It's like the Browse uh, ink fountain pen. It has the nice tip, like the G tip. <clears throat> that I hear is really cool. And then it has like three italic ones that are super thick, which would work so well with like the ink that has the different texture type things. And then I got washies. I got lots of washies. I got lots of colors. I got lots of colors. I have four plain ones. A blue, a green, a purple, and a brown. Can you tell that I like the earth tones? And purple, brand new. And 
then I got a brown one that has like a little grid type thing. A purple one that has this like very slight pattern or texture. And then a space one, because it's space. And then I got stickers. I got four stickers from Sekaido. And they're like little like stamp sets. And they are coming blue and red and green and yellow. They're so pretty. And so old tiny. And then I also got stickers from, I think this was from Loft. I got four of them. Those they're are nice all stickers. like browns and a green. They're very, they're very soft girl. There were the, a lot of the colors that they had were really nice. They were like not pastel but they were lighter colors. Um, but I like the vibes of these ones. I think that's all of our station anyway. Next is the Bell of the Ball. <laughs> we made it to the Johnny store and we bought lots of Johnny's goods. I'll show you those ones and then I'll show you the discs that we also got. First thing is first. When we went to the Johnny store, we went downstairs and it had its own floor. Literally the above of it, it was like, what was it, like Louis Vuitton and stuff or something? Yeah, it was like It was like hella expensive stuff. And then you have to go down to the basement and it was just all Johnny's. Um, Chris wasn't allowed to film there, so I don't know if we after we even have clips there. I don't think we do, but yeah, it was like all Johnny's stuff. Um, it was like walls and walls and walls of photos and online it says you can't go in unless you're uh, registered in their fan like as, as a thing and you need a Japanese address for it. So we went thinking we wouldn't be able to go in but we were allowed to go in and so I bought all of these things. I will show them to you. We got Hey, say jump stickers. I don't think Hikaru is actually in this since this is their fifth or their fifteenth anniversary one. He was technically on hiatus last year, which was their fifteenth anniversary. So I don't have Hikaru photos in here, but I have everyone else. Oh, the stickers came in this little folder thing, which was super cute. I actually really like the color scheme of it. Um, and then I also got this weird thing from Real Drama. It's literally just gonna stand up on my upstairs show. Chris really wanted to get it. Yes. So we got it. It's so cool. We got stickers as well. Actually, more stickers, which I have already placed into my notebook. There's more of them, but I only use these two because like, I like them. It's like a group shot if you could jump, and then the Johnny store should be a one. We got the Van on some photos. We got 10 photos. Most of them were of Rio. I think I got one group pick. This photo of Rio. Um, this photo of Rio, this is my favorite one. It's so cute. This one is a good one as well. And then we got this photo. It doesn't have Rio in it, just Gina and, and Eno. But this is the reason why I really like this photo. They just look so happy in it. And then we got one of Heisei Seven making uh, reaction faces to what I assume is supposed to be a scary scene in a movie. And then we got this silly one as well with Hikaru, Ryo, Tina, and Eno. And then we got the group shot. Which is cute. This one is from this year. I really like that one too. And then I got myself a Yuto one. Sorry, Gabe. <laughs> the other thing we got was a couple different file folders. It's literally just like a clear file, like literally, literally it's just a file folder. But this one of 
Heisei Jump, again, 15th anniversary, so Hikaru's not in it. And this one, I'm gonna, oh, this is a postcard. I'm gonna leave this one downstairs. It's so like, you wouldn't know it's Heisei Jump until you looked at it. This is perfect. It's so discreet. And then this clear file too, which is cute. The group shot. Oh, we got some gifts from the giant shop. Chinan photo and Daiki photo. We picked one of Daiki that has kind of like the gay vibe in the background, just cause. And then also Kato file folder. He signed, he has like a sign thing here in the back too, which is cute. And he see jump post-it notes or like a notepad, which is also cute. So that is our Johnny's shop haul and all. The next thing. The big haul is this. This bad boy. Check Film music single. Hey, say jump. What do you want? DVD and CD. Or wait, film music album. Another copy of film music album because the photo set was going to be different. This area single because I really like the color. Their 10th anniversary DVD. Kind of wild. My favorite concert DVD. Also comes came with a little concert photo booklet. Because this one was a limited edition one. The parade one. I don't really like this concert very much. But it was also limited edition and the box was pretty cool and it also comes with a photo set so that was fun and then wait there's more oh a second copy of the what do you want single because it came with a scarf and a different photo set again you're gonna use a scarf i'm gonna put it into our shrine and then just because I didn't want to just buy Hazy Jump stuff. I also got a news concert DVD. And it's got songs that I actually know, so I'm excited about that. And I'm pretty sure it has all the members that I remember, like all six of the members that I liked. And then Captoon Break the Records, again, same thing, all six of the members with songs that I know. And then Arashi. It's, this is just a disc set, but it's the best of Arashi, 1999 to 2009. Which is wild that they've existed for that. And then we also got another two gifts. Casey Jump DVD, first ever concert in Tokyo Dome. But those are gifts. And then we are on to our gifts. Some of these gifts we're giving away tomorrow, which is why we need to film this today. Yes. Otherwise, we and I'm be super excited to see someone's reaction to their gift. First, that's the back. Is it? Oh. Unforgiven. I don't even really know what this is, but I've Kyle has these things all the time. It looked about the same size as the set that he has, so we got it for him. It came with a photo card. Yeah. We also, so that will be Kyle's gift for his birthday, but we're going to give it to him tomorrow. Mm. And then this is his souvenir, the Seraphim Japanese version, Fearless. If we give it to that, give that to him tomorrow? Yeah, we'll just give him both. Mm. And we'll just be like, for your birthday this year, we will do something for free. <laughs> and then we got Lance, twice, wake me up. Copy. It has the Wake Me Up music video and music video making in here. We got the Christine, a Stray Kids one. You didn't include that in your thing. I'll show that. Oh, it's gone. Stray Kids, I think this is just a CD. Oh, it says CD and sign. I guess there are photos in here. Um, yeah, it's a Japanese version too. So that's cool. And for Louie, we got Christian, would you like to do the honors? Yes. I was gonna buy this for myself, but 
But then we thought Louis would love this so much more. So this is a reversible, kind of a soft heavyweight kimono mm -hmm. sort of thing. It's like a streetwear thing. So the inside's like a dragon. So you can flip it inside out. Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah. You gotta wash it though. Yeah. It was thrifted. For tip? A little wood thing, cardboard design thing for the Tokyo Tower. And then for Gabe, the Travelers Company Starbucks Reserve exclusive charm. Oh, Travelers. Oh, to collab with. I didn't realize that. That's cool. It's for the Collins household. For Phoenix. It's like, it's not really a soft toy. It's, it's, a, it's a wash thing. It's a hand puppet. Oh, and it's a hand puppet. You can use a hand puppet too. Yeah. This one's for Vi. Doesn't it just give Vi vibes? This may be her the white one, but if she, she's just grown up before. Mm. So. And then Ati, a matching one. It's a little head head thing. Face dryer thing. Kyle, we got this little tag that says Collins. Collins. In Katakana. The Collins? Yeah. This for baby Olivia. Oh, we got this one for Phoenix because it's a bird. Get it? Because it's like Phoenix. And this one for Olivia because it's like green, like an olive. And then this for Alex. This is so cool. This is so cool. It's like a train. It's a mini Shinkansen. A Shinkansen. The head of it. And then for Auntie Charisma, a headband as well. And then Kuya, we got him a tag that says Kato, his name. And then Korime as well. It's a little inside joke. We won't say what it is. <laughs> but he'll know. He'll know. And then for my parents, we got a mug thing. I guess it's kind of like a mug tea from the store from Yokohama. So similar to the tote bag that we got for ourselves. And then for my mom. Again, we will rip the prices off all of these before we give it in. We got her a little. One of those cat things. Not like the lucky cat, but very similar. Oh! It's, it's a, a coin bank. thing. Yeah, it's a piggy bank. That's cool. We got these. So two Kit Kats. Wasabi flavored. And then matcha flavored. And then some Mount Fuji cookies. I don't really know what they taste like or what their flavor are, but it was from Mount Fuji. And oh, I also got my parents a Mount Fuji magnet. So for my parents, it's supposed to be those other chocolates, but I don't think they're very interested in those flavors. So I don't think they would even need it. So I got this strawberry one. Uh, a matcha flavored Pocky and then an almond crush flavored or it's really just almond flavored Pocky. It's pretty cool, I want to eat that too. So these are the Mount Fuji cookies we just saw in the store. So, for my for Giselle slash my brother, we got these Hello Kitty. So I don't know who this guy is, but... Oh, that's, um... That's Mar. I don't know. I don't, I'm not, not familiar with the Hello Kitty people. And then my brother got these... Spirit of... What's his name? No Face? No Face socks. It's pretty cool. For... Gabriel. This... Pichu. Like, it's kind of like Lego, but... Not really Lego. And then... For Grayson, this little Charmander. <coughs> I'm pretty sure it's just like a coin thing. Coin purse. Coin purse, I can say. Oh, and the final thing. A gift for myself. A choice's gift for herself. Is. 
so lucky. We didn't even know this was gonna exist when we went to go, go. They just can I still be seen if I'm oh no, you can't see me. Super. Don't talk as loud though. They just announced it while we were there. Like the first week that we were really there. Ja, ja, da, da. It's a magazine. It features Rio. That's not him. Okay, the first couple photos of him are meh. They're meh. But the one in the middle. That's your favorite. Imagine, photo. see? Put this up on the wall. This looks so good. Just cut it all up. Make it a puzzle. Perfect. Jenna! And then the rest of the one, this actually, the, out of all of the magazines, this is probably the best one because they talk about other games. So when I learn how to learn Japanese, I'll be able to read this. Like there's a page on Zelda. Oh yeah, because on this week, this is when the next Zelda comes out. And whatever this thing is. Look at that. What is that? That is the end of our haul. Hopeful. We'll try to cut in like actual close ups of everything so you can see it properly. Good night. We've been up for it. Yeah, it's been a little. How long has it been? Maybe like 20. So we've been awake-ish for about 26 or 28 hours with like maybe we've got like an hour, an hour three somewhere in between. So an hour, three? Oh, an hour or three hours between one and three hours. Oh, sleep. Yeah, we got between one and three hours of sleep in between. Oh, first, this is so cool. This product is using the precious soil of Mount Fuji. Oh, the magnet? Yeah. Oh, that's so sick.